Okay, so we're gonna try this again. I attempted to make a video yesterday and apparently it's too long or something. I couldn't get it uploaded to YouTube, so we're gonna try this again. Um, if not, then the final attempt will just have to be a live one, I guess. I'm not sure what to do here. Anyways, I am going to be showing you how to make this geode pendant. Not this particular one, we're using some different colors today. Uh, this was what I was working on yesterday. Um, so I have laid out before me all of the supplies that I'm going to need. Um, these are just various resins that I've already mixed. I'm sorry I was going to mix some of them on camera, but I got a little bit ahead of myself. So I'm using um, sapphire blue. Um, this is a purple pearl. And then this is a uh, sky blue that's a pearl. I have black oops, and white. Um, this is just a regular blue that I'm using and then also a regular purple. And then those are all mixed here before you. Uh, I just basically put about one, one drop, roughly speaking, uh, and then just put in the resin and stir. It, it's recommended that you don't use more than 10% of the alcohol inks or whatever you're mixing with your resin um i don't really measure so uh, let's see the other thing i'm using is also the white glitter sorry backwards the white glitter i've got right here extra fine um silver that i have mixed in with what is going to make the geode and then i am using this glass glitter and I don't know, Recollections needs to work on their labeling because it is a horrible label and you cannot read it very easily. Uh, this one is silver. I also have it in gold, which you saw the other pendant was made in. I decided to switch colors today. Um, you cannot tell the difference between these until the resin is mixed in, or I can't anyways. This one turns gold when the resin's mixed in, as you saw on the other pendant that I just showed. Um, this one I have not used yet, so we're going to see how it turns out today. And then the resin I'm using is UV resin. This is a brand new one I just got off Amazon. Um, used it yesterday, so it worked pretty well. Um, I really like UV resin, but it puts off a very bad odor, so be sure that you are wearing a respirator. Um, I've kind of done things in stages a little bit just to make the video go a little faster, uh, so I won't be wearing a respirator. Uh, last time I did that, I got really sick, but we'll see how it goes. <laughs> And then I've just got a couple of tools that I'm going to be using. Um, I've got a little bit of black mixed over here, and I'm going to be using the, this brush with the black to kind of shadow in the bottom of the geode a little bit. Okay, let me get this stuff out of the way. Now, I went ahead and I was going to mix, um, mix this on camera, but I needed to add a little bit more. And Anyways, okay, so this is basically a little bit kind of about the consistency of oatmeal cookie dough is kind of what we're looking for um, you kind of have to keep stirring it a little bit to keep it mixed up and okay sorry I don't do very very many videos all right so the, I've got these in a couple of stages to kind of make this go faster and they're also different shapes because I wanted to try some more shallow ones um, the shapes that I have been working in the spoon bowl is fairly deep. I've got to clean up the back of these. I'll, I was going to show you a little bit on how to do that at the end. Um, so I wanted to try some different shapes and some different depths to see how those turn out. So I've kind of got these in stages. I'm going to show you on this one right here how I do the bottom. And so basically, whoops, we're just going to take and put some in the bottom and just kind of squish it around until you get the shape that you want. Just to give you a heads up, my husband is playing video games and he gets a little loud sometimes, so hopefully that will not... He knows I'm making a video, but we'll see. Okay, so it doesn't have to be exact. Remember, these are geodes. They're in nature. They're not perfect. And actually, I think the more kind of wonky they are, the better. Um, so I'm kind of happy with that. 
So I'm using, this is actually for my nails. Um, this is a UV Cure Light. You wanna keep it away from your resin uh, because it, this stuff does instantly harden. So you don't wanna turn it on over your resin. I've got different settings on the top of mine. This one does 99 seconds, 60 seconds, 30 seconds. I usually just hit this, the 99 second, and I'll run it a couple of times. Um, the curing time on this resin is three to six minutes. So I will usually, um, the thinner the layer that I'll do just the three minutes, the thicker the layer, I'll go all the way up to six, sometimes even more just to make sure that it's cured. So I'm gonna do this off camera with this one just for the sake of time and move on to these. Okay, so now I just start building up and it's just kind of a tedious little process and I just drop the stuff on here. I'm just making, creating like a little well in the center to get the, give the geo depth. So, and I'm actually gonna pause the video just for sake of time um, right now, and then I'll come back when I've got these built up and show you where we're at. Okay, so I built this one up, but I just wanted to show you a little bit. Um, you kind of have to clean this off every now and then because it kind of gets in the way and then I just while the wall, walls are still soft I just kind of poke this out looks like I'm in a little low there I'm gonna need a little more and sometimes I will kind of push it in a little bit just to kind of give it an irregular shape in the middle um, but I'm gonna add just a little bit more I'm just really trying to keep the time down because I'm really having a hard time loading these videos because they've been so long. Okay. And then I kind of eyeball it. So this one will probably take another layer because I want to be able to see it. I bring it up to about level with the spoon top. And so I just keep building that until I'm done with that. All right, looks like the other one just finished curing. So you can kind of see how this one is. Um, you can see it's level with the spoon top. So I'm not going to add any more to that one. I don't want it sticking up any more than that. I want to try to cover as much of it with the top coat of resin as I can to keep it from snagging on things. Okay, so now here's where I'm going to take the black. Move this up here. Okay, and I'm just gonna dip it in there, kind of wipe it off a little bit. And there is no rhyme or reason to this, it's just shove it in there and just kind of give it a little bit of depth. Sorry, I'm laughing at my husband. He's trying so hard to be quiet. He's whispering. Okay. All right, and then I'll just give that a quick little cure. Um, I make sure that I have a paper towel handy, and I just really wipe my brush off, off doing that off the side. But I'm going to give that a little shot. So hold on just a second, and I'll be right back. Okay. So I went ahead and built these layers up, as you can see. You can kind of see the um, the top of the geode is level with the spoon on both of them. Um, I would tip this one. I think you can see this one might be sticking up a little bit higher, but I needed to build the sides up so that the resin wouldn't flow over into the geode. Right now, I mixed up uh, just a little bit of uh, clear resin with the silver glitter, and I'm just kind of putting it in the bottom of the geode to add. I love to add sparkle wherever I can. so. I'm gonna go ahead and just stick that down in there and I'm just taking a popsicle stick and just dropping it down in there. We'll have to fill this up anyways so that the color doesn't flow over. So why not add glitter? I'm not filling it up all the way, just a little bit of the bottom. kind of on the sides a little. So this um, 
glass glitter that we used for the geode it, it's messy I'm gonna tell you that right now usually it's kind of bits and pieces like this all over my work area um, don't worry about the stuff that gets on the outside of this we're gonna be covering that up with resin anyways um, and even if you are filling this around the bottom to level with clear resin or today I'm gonna be adding color because I want to try to get depth um, either way it doesn't matter because whatever you put on the top is gonna cover all that up and so don't worry about it okay I'm gonna pause again really quick just to um, cure these real really fast and I'll be right back okay I'm back I had a little mishap I think when I John <laughs> I think when I um, showed you my curing my art um, UV lamp that I hit my uh, resin I already had made up <laughs> because this resin yesterday had a really long working time and I went to stir and it was all globby and gooky so anyways mix up some more resin and now um, the only thing that I've done off camera is after I added the little bit of silver glitter in the bottom I went ahead and filled the rest of the center up with clear just to avoid having any of the colors we're going to be adding on the outside overflowing into that. I want to try to keep that as clear as possible. So in the big one, I'm going to be doing the ocean colors. And then in the smaller one, I'm going to be doing uh, purple. So I'm going to go ahead and fill that one up first. And I've just got this darker purple that I'm going to put on the bottom. This one's pretty level. I did add this spoon here just to level this bigger one. I need to come up with a better way for leveling, but that's what I had on hand. So um, this resin isn't usually this thick, which makes me think that it's got a lesser working time. Okay. And then going forward so that I'm not moving these I'm going to be bringing the lamp see just like that if that happens just grab a q-tip and wipe it out because it will happen Get another clean one in. I don't see any little fuzzies. Okay. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and pause again until I do this one, and then I'm going to cure both layers or both of those, and then come back and put the next layer on. Okay. I'm back. I just wanted to mention one thing I'm noticing is. Um, this resin that I'm using today, like I said, this is really the first time I've used it. The odor isn't as bad. This is what I have been using. I got this at Michael's. Can you see that? Um, which I really like the resin, but oh my gosh, the smell from it is just, oh, it is very bad. And this one isn't as bad. I'm not getting the headache and stuff that I was getting without wearing the respirator from the other one or stick to my stomach. So that's a good thing. Okay. So this one is only going to have two coats. So I'm going to do this one again because this one's going to have three coats. And I meant to show you this. Um, what did I do with it? So I had this in various stages. These look very similar, but this one was, is more dark, as you can see. And then I this one's a little bit more translucent. Parent. Transparent. Sorry. Um, and then this is going to be the very top coat that's going on that. And I don't know if you can see it in the video, but there is a... Uh, this is the pearl one, the sky blue with the pearl mixed in, and it is such a pretty color. So that's going to be going on top. So I'm going to add the second layer of this blue. And this one, I added just a little bit of the, the sapphire in with, um, I think it was just regular blue. Too many. Yeah, I used this one, added just a tiny bit of the sapphire so that it was kind of a transition is what I wanted. Okay, so I'm going to pour this one in. And this is just to try to give it some depth. Okay. 
I know it just looks like it's more of the same color, but it will it will add depth. And I can see that I am not level. So I'm going to use a little bit of a popsicle stick under there. Try to get it level as much as possible. Okay, I'm gonna cure this one. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So, got a little bit of air bubbles in that one. This resin doesn't usually have air bubbles, but I must have over stirred it when I was trying to hurriedly make some more. Um, hmm, now, I'm thinking the cure time is not as long on this resin because I did not hit this with my lamp. Okay, so you gotta work apparently pretty quick with this stuff. I'm going to add a little bit more to this. So this is just the white. Um, the only thing I did differently with it is I added a little bit of glitter to that. The white pearl glitter that I have here. And I just used, I've got this little scoop on the end of there. So probably like one, one and a half, two, somewhere around in there. No more than that is what I put in there. Yeah. Okay, and I just got these cups today, so I'm gonna try them. I'm hoping, is I'm trying to get the rings to go around, but what I've been doing, I haven't been able to get those yet. Okay, and this is the, so I'm gonna start with this one. Figured I'll show you on this one because the um, purple one is only going to get the, well, it'll get the two colors too, okay. I'm just going to go around in a circle. Like that. And I'm going to do the same with the white. Try to push it out if I can. The white is coming out way faster than the blue. Come back in with the blue again. That looks kind of cool. I'm going to let that just kind of work and feed its way around. I don't think I'm going to touch it anymore. I'm going to do the same thing with the purple one. But I'm going to go ahead and pause it for time's sake. Okay, what I'm doing here, I hit it with my heat gun to try to get some of the bubbles out. And then I'm just going to poke at them. Try to get the other ones out. I may try to hit it with the heat gun again. And then I just kind of took this little stylus tool and I'm just kind of drawing loops around just because I think it looks neat. Yep, a little bit of string on that. Okay. I think I'll leave that one alone. And I like the purple. I like the way that one, I don't think I'll draw the loops on that, but I thought that one that one kind of needed it. So I'm going to go ahead and hit that with the uh, the lamp, and I will be right back. Okay, got those cured up. So now we're back to our silver geode glitter. And what I'm going to be working on now is just making the, um, the outside. And I'm not sure, I'm going to set this one off to the side because I don't know if I'm going to put an outside on that one. I might just leave it the way that it is, but we will need to put a top coat on it. So I'm just going to set this one off to the side. And we're going to focus on, move my balancing stuff out of the way, focus on this one. So this is kind of a tedious task. I'm just going to show you a little tiny bit and then I will pop back off camera. Um, you just have to go around the entire edge 
with this and don't worry about it getting out onto the um the resin there's a lot of little bubbles in that i'm not happy about that that's the one downside to this resin i've noticed is it puts off a lot more bubbles than the other resin so i might just even though i can't stand the smell of it switch back to that one for that reason okay you are going to get some onto the back of this. It's inevitable. There's no way around it. But you just kind of push this around. You just want a really thin coat right out to the edge so that more color is showing. And it just takes a while to work it. Okay, so I'm going to pause and now that I've showed you a little bit, and work it on around and then I'll come back and show you how I wrap it up okay so I had extra glitter so I decided to go ahead and put the border around the purple one too but as you can see it really eats into the color that's the reason why I contemplated doing it or not but I had it so decided to do it you can also just like take a um, acrylic marker um, like gold silver black whatever color you want and just draw a finished edge around it if you would like to do that as well I just really like the looks of the glass glitter on the edge but that's just personal so now we're just gonna finish it up um, what this not only does is finish off the edge but it also helps build up a wall for the top coat of the resin to help hold it in and I really like to try to push the envelope and get that domed look as much as possible because it just adds to the depth but in doing so sometimes <laughs> I get too much and have accidents like this and it will overflow i have a tendency to push like i said the envelope and break the tension in the resin and it overflows then you just have cleanup later so i am just going to start in here i usually start in the middle and just kind of let it flow out Okay, I'm going to let that settle for a minute, get a little bit over here on the edge. You want to try to make sure your piece is as level as possible too, which is why I have all the popsicle sticks. I'm not sure why this spoon, it might be because I have the geode going more at an angle on this one as to why it's so unlevel. Right. My son's playing video games too, so you can probably hear him as long as he keeps his language good where we were okay. <laughs> So, all right, they're actually playing teams, him and my husband. And I just kind of eyeball it to see. And you want, one thing with this resin too, it will expand a little bit, which is how I get some of those accidents when you put the lamp on it. Um, it'll expand a little bit and so it will overflow Okay, I think that looks good. So I'm gonna go ahead and cure it and I'll be right back. Okay, I went ahead and cured these. Um, I'll probably run them through a couple more times, but I just wanted to get this video wrapped up. Uh, I don't know if you can see in the video the depth in this one, but it's pretty phenomenal. You can see way down in there into the colors that we put in those first two layers of resin. Um, I, I don't know about the silver. I'm kind of, I don't know, it's pretty, but I don't know it may, may grow on me uh, this one you can see it did expand a little bit and spill over so I'll just have to pinch that off um, and it's just barely coming out the top a little bit on that one which is okay I don't mind that I think it kind of gives it character and this one's pretty smooth as far as the geode in the middle it came out pretty pretty level um, and as far as cleaning up the back this is one I did yesterday um, I'm just going to take a pair of pliers and pinch that off and scrape this. I use like a butter knife or whatever I can, whatever sharp object to get it to come off. And then I'll probably go over it with a little bit of steel wool to polish it off again. Um, if you have any suggestions on something that might be easier, I would love to hear it. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you have any questions, just let me know. Thanks so much.